fast memorization versus natural memorization. We welcome you to the Ogono Art Fam. It's time for evolution. So today, as I said before, uh, the fast memorization versus natural memorization. Now, uh, when we think about memorizing things, uh, we usually like associate that with, for example, our our prior schooling, our prior, you know, programming when it came to uh, uh, studying for exams. We would usually like the exam would start like, you know, next week, and we would usually like spend all that time, you know, forcing ourselves to uh, to study what's on the exam, you know, so that we can get that that perfect 100. And we cram all that information in, and then eventually, uh, a phase like after the exam like happens, and perhaps you pa you've passed, etc. We enter this phase of burnout or relaxation where we start to to rest on our laurels because of all that exerted energy that we put into you know our our fast memorization when it came to to study. At least for me, that is. And so for natural memorization, what I'm doing currently is improving my drawing skills, improving my visual library so that I can eventually move on to using less references and relying on my mental reference. And so what I have, what I'm doing right now is doing this uh, subconscious reinforcement approach. So I have posters of different drawings that I've made, like different notes as well, you know, anatomy posters that I just at least take a, a glimpse at like every once in a while. Uh, and so like, uh, for, for example, like every morning I look at these set of notes that I have and I'll just, uh, I'll just read, read like each of them just one by one. And as I'm reading it, I'm not, I'm not forcing myself to memorize it. It's something that will happen naturally the more I'm repeatedly like with repetition the more i'm doing it in a re re repetitive way you know so that's so that's happening like once every every morning and also once every night uh after before before i go to sleep and so so as i'm reading it i'm reading it as if i'm reading a you know a, a casual text message from a friend However, this is something I'm looking at every day and I'm not like forcing it, you know? So it's like, it's like a, a 80, 20 uh, Pareto's law, you know, 20% uh, effort and 80% results, you know? And so I'm taking my time to read it. And as I'm taking my time, I'm not, and I'm not exerting myself, you know, and I'm not exerting too much energy when I'm looking at these, these notes. So there won't be a sense of burnout the next day also you know just just have a balance of both you know know when to use the fast approach and when know when to uh have the natural approach and i feel the natural approach is is a keen way a good way for building up that visual library and the the more fast memorization approach can can be the the physical practice that you're doing when you're when you're memorizing a an anatomy an anatomy uh some some like several anatomy structures of a certain part of the human body you know because also physical practice is also important and with physical practice you don't want to like uh you know overthink too much about it uh you have you you just understand that you have a reference point and as you practice of course there are going to be mistakes made but you have a reference point to to look into for that ideal structure that you're trying to build with whatever you're drawing drawing so if you want to draw for uh six hours or seven hours you know have like have like uh and you, and you haven't drawn at all or so just draw for a good uh good 10 10 minutes and gradually increase the 10 minutes into you know 30 minutes and then uh uh an hour and, and etc etc on like a weekly basis until you gradually are drawing from uh, until you gradually are drawing you know six hours or 24 hours or or less and so to conclude the natural memorization is more of a, a you know a natural approach and within this natural approach it's not like you have a drawing exam in the next week where you have to cram all that information in so that you can get that perfect 100 on the test it's more of a, a long running thing you know since we are artists and we're constantly evolving until we die, you know the art, the journey of an artist is something that's you know you know everlasting, 
you know, until until death arises. And unless you have some kind of legacy behind you, you know, then it's everlasting, right? But uh, the journey of an artist, you know, you know, in, in a physical way, you know, will eventually uh, pass. And so, you know, when you're doing the, uh, the the natural memorization, just take your time, read it every every uh, every day. Also, read your notes, but don't force it. And you'll start to see results in at least in a month or in two months. You'll start to see results of you actually recalling what you're seeing from those notes physically when you're drawing, and you start you start to recall it mentally because you're training that men that mental aspect of of art. And that'll be revealed. Thank you guys for for watching. Let me know your experiences when it comes to uh, memorizing things. How do you feel when you are Memorizing do you usually uh, use the uh, the fast memorization method and how does that how does that work for you? Have you ever tried the the natural memorization approach which mainly targets the the subconscious mind? So yeah, uh, just leave so in the comments below and if you have any uh, topics you would like me to talk about Yeah, also leave me in the comments below what you would like me to talk about any tutorials uh, Or anything anything, but uh, yeah, that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching uh, peace.